This printer has a bad design. It took me quite a lot of time and test to get it print right. Hello everyone, I'm Dennis Wang, and I want to share my test and experience using Nova 3D Well 3 Super 14K. This printer is one of the 14K series from Nova 3D. The other version is Nova 3D Well 3 Ultra 14K. It has ball screw and built-in heater. This printer build size is 223mm times 126mm times 250mm. It has 10-inch screen with 14K resolution. The pixel size on X resolution is 16.8 and Y resolution is 24.8 micron. So the pixel shape is rectangular. I'm definitely gonna do comparison with model facing X and Y axis. The entire body of this printer is from metal, with clear yellow flipped up cover. You are required to assemble the cover hinge yourself, but it is easy to do. But I am not sure, is it me that did a bad job assemble the cover or something else? You could access the power switch at the side along with two USB port for your flash disk and Wi-Fi dongle. Transferring data over Wi-Fi works great on this printer. Power plug is at the back of this printer, and you could add your own air filter or heater system there. This printer also has adjustable fit. Well, 3 Super has dual linear rail with normal lead screw, not ball screw like the Ultra version. My dial indicator test doesn't show any anomaly when moving it up and down and pulling the build arm side to side. So the whole Z assemble is a solid build. The build plate sits very nice in place and doesn't wiggle. So you can be sure that it is properly attached to the build arm. And it is one of the most uncomfortable build plate to hold. I almost slipped several times when removing the build plate from the build arm. But at the same time, it is one of the best factory pre-level build plate I ever encountered. This is the first time I do not perform my own build plate leveling and just set the Z offset. The resin fitting system is the same with Nova 3D Well 3 SE. You could watch my previous review on how it works, link in video description. Basically, it is a manual graffiti fed system with the help of this bottle cap and the resin tank design. Speaking of the resin tank, make sure you do not make the mistake <laughs> like I did. Secure the thumb screw first before attach the handle. The thumb screw has molded rubber with Nova 3D letters at the top. This bolt to secure the handle also double as resin tank fit to prevent dirt sticking to your film. The resin tank has fit, nice handle, well designed thumb screw, max indicator line, pouring spout, nothing could go wrong, right? Right? You will find out in the test print result. Nova 3D told me they redesigned the protective glass seating, so there is no longer issue with the screen peeling from the glass at the corner, like in the case of my previous review on Well 3 SE. Well 3 Super also has the Fresnel lens to help distribute uniform light from the COB light source, resulting in a very good light uniformity with value ranging from 5 to 5.5 mW per square centimeter. The printer cover can prevent 100% UV light from penetrating inside. But I am not sure about this gap though. According to the website, this printer is near silent. And true to their words, this printer is very quiet on my noise test. The highest decibel is only 59. On my test print, I often forgot that the printer is still running due to how quiet it is. User interface on the touchscreen is pretty basic with additional temperature control settings. But Well 3 Super version doesn't have the thermostat system. It only available on Well 3 Ultra. And now to the fun part that lasts me a year to solve from December 2023 to January 2024. Right from the start, I have addition issue. My leveling tester barely stick to the plate. But I'm 100% sure it is not leveling issue because I have checked multiple times that the plate leveling is good. So I tried sanding the surface, and I have tried from 10 to 40 seconds bar of exposure, but still the same result. I noticed something. The gap between the screen and the film is quite big. 
That means the gulp is more than 0.3 mm. Because I checked the leveling and set the Z offset with my usual 3 pieces of paper. Usually the gap on printer only around 0.1 to 0.2 mm. Some even doesn't have gap at all. This means I start my print below the zero height. That is why I have addition issue. So I reset the Z offset with resin tank in place and guesstimate the plate height from the film with a piece of paper. So it doesn't press the film down too much that could result the print start from below zero height. And the result, my leveling tester now sticks very well with only 10 second bottom exposure. Here is another weird thing I found. Make sure to copy the file that you want to print from USB to local memory. Because as soon as the print finishes, the file will get deleted from local memory. But still available in your USB. If you print directly from USB, then it will be deleted from your USB when the print is finished. After confirming I have good exposure, I start with my stability torture test. And the result is very good, no wobble or bending lines at all. Anti-aliasing without any dub works very well on Weld 3 Super. On the right, anti-aliasing off. On the left, anti-aliasing on. On anti-aliasing off, this side here is facing Y and the voxel is very clear. Facing X side, the voxels becomes much smaller. I guess this is the effect from rectangular shape pixel. Wire mesh model also printed very well, although as usual, the 0.1 mesh got damaged during cleaning process. Then I printed mirror the red panda facing both X and Y axis, and I marked the model so I could tell which is which. And as you can see, the fur details on Y seems softer compared to the one facing X. The same result with the 3D micron letters here. The lining and the stitch details are also sharper on X. This small mare, the red panda, looking slightly more crisp on X side compared to the Y. On the letter model here, I also print one facing X and one facing Y axis. But I need your help here, guys because I don't see any difference. Please comment if you can spot the difference. When I was checking this Lady Techno Subway model, this is where I realized I have issue with bigger model test print. All of the model that is bigger than Minis have bad print lines. I thought maybe the rail is not well lubricated, so I apply some grease. After moving it up and down several times to spread the grease, I see the rail got dirty, and I thought, well, great, the dirt got flushed out from inside the block, problem solved. Right? Right? Nope, the bread print line still exists. So I switched to this gray resin, the one I'm most familiar with. Maybe my print setting is not good and causing the lines. I also informed Nova 3D about the bad print lines, and they told me to use longer rest time. But it is not blooming issue and the models are hollow with proper drain hole. But then again, I start the first test with 2 second rest time and as you can see it has bad print lines all over the face and chest armor. Then 5 second rest time, still some bad print lines. Then 7 second rest time, only the right shoulder armor showing some bad print lines. And at 9 second rest time, it gives the best print result. So, I checked the Weld 3 SE resin tank and it also has the same gap. And this got me thinking. Lately, I realized no matter what rest time setting I input on Weld 3 SE, on real print time, the rest time is around 10 seconds. I asked Nova 3D about it, and they said to me they locked the G-code in the printer to provide the best print result to users. Hmm, no wonder I did not encounter the same issue when I review Weld 3 SE. 
and my brain fart do not realize the long print time when I do test print for Wear 3 SE review until recently. At first, I was thinking to minimize the gap by sanding down the resin tank bottom. I really want to do this because minimizing the gap from sanding the bottom could help improve the print details because less distance from screen to the film means less light spreading. Since I do not own the proper equipment to do so, and manually sanding the bottom by placing it on glass could cause uneven surface, because my human hand might not be able to keep even pressure when sanding. So, I choose easier temporary solution. Placing PET film, each layer is 0.2mm. First layer, Second layer Third layer Lo and behold No more bad print lines The surface clean and smooth and only using 1 second rest time for the print setting So, the issue is because the big gap The film rely only on tension to keep it flat because it is folding and nothing underneath the film to keep it stable when the plate retract, pushing the resin down and create pressure on the film. This is why initially using very long rest time can give good print result, to give enough time for the film to stable itself. My temporary solution by filling the gap with PET film only solve one issue. Although the film is now stable and can use faster print settings, there's still light spreading because the screen from the film distance. You could clearly tell from this comparison. On the left is 14K, on the right is 12K. Both model facing Y axis. 12K printer on the right showing better details, especially on the shoulder armor details. I have informed Rofa 3D about my tests and they told me they will have the R&D department to look into the problem. Hopefully, they are willing to adjust the resin tank bottom height because manufacturers like them should have all the proper equipment to do so. So by the time you receive your Nova 3D 14K series printer, they have fixed the resin tank design. And if you are interested to buy this printer, you can use my discount code in the video description. I want to say thank you for two of my first YouTube channel members, Will Scop Stuff and Dwi Anfu. And thank you Mirina Devaria and Tony Mora for supporting my channel through Patreon. By joining my YouTube channel member or Patreon, you could get special perks like early access or member-only video tutorial that is not available to public. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on notification, like and share this video. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.